Do you want to create scripted and edited VTuber content that looks good? Well, this is a tutorial for you. First, I'm going to assume you've already written your script. If you haven't, do that first. If you are using a 3D model, you are most likely using VC Face to render your model. So start up VC Face and select your avatar. I'm sorry, but I don't know enough about 2D to give steps for setting up VTube Studio or the like, but I'm sure this advice can be adapted for them. When you are recording scripted content, I recommend you record it in landscape mode. The reason for this is you get 180 lines of pixels to represent yourself in portrait, but in landscape, you have 920. This means you get a lot more resolution to muck about with, and at the same time, less wasted space in your saved files. After you've set up everything the way you want, click on the right asterisk button to hide the UI, and then space to remove the right asterisk button. We are going to be using OBS to do the recording. Within OBS, set up a new scene, add audio input capture. I'm just going to use my existing clean audio input capture. Clean means that it doesn't have any effects applied to it, then we add a game capture. I'm just going to go to a VC face. Then at the bottom, after your game capture for VC face, you add a color source of green and it might pop up at the top. If that happens, just drag it down to the bottom so you're in front of it. There we go. The reason why we use a green screen in the background is because most of the video codexes can't capture an alpha channel, so it is a lot easier just to have a green cap screen. If your model has a lot of green in it, try using a blue background. Now start up DaVinci Resolve and create a new project. Then click on the media tab and go to your videos directory might take a while if you've got a lot of videos for it to load in. Then copy the video you're interested in working on into your media pool. It'll ask you if you want to set this frame rate. At this time I actually do. So we'll change the frame rate to match. Then we can edit our footage. In DaVinci Resolve we have two options for doing this. We have the cut page or the edit page. The cut page is more useful if you are using uh, custom hardware. So we will be using the edit page for this tutorial. So just grab your clip, drag it into here. and you'll get your clip. Then what we want to do is remove any errors, unpleasant mouth sounds or awkward silences. What I'm doing here is splitting with Shift B, the razor tool, and then deleting with the delete button.
after you have finished with your editing, go to adjustment clip and pull it over into the next layer up. And you should stretch it out as far as you need to. You can then go into this adjustment layer by going open in Fusion page. The DaVinci Fusion node graph functions a bit like a pipeline where the visuals flow from media in along this arc to media out. So if we want to make changes, we can add nodes to filter and modify our visuals as they go through. The first thing I will do is go shift and space and request a delta Kia. The delta Kia is the way that Fusion does green screens. So if we hold down shift now and put that over the top of our arc, we can then go in here. We set the background color to be the same as our green. And I'm just going to zoom in and look at the edges. And you can see that this is a bit of discoloration here. You can adjust the gain to get rid of that. The handy thing is if you have your model have sort of like a little bit of a black edge around it, it makes this compositing stage a lot easier. Now, you'll want to add a background. So let's get a background that I prepared earlier. Your background image. You can use either a fixed PNG or you could use an animation or you could use an open EXR sequence. It's all up to you. You can even use another timeline from DaVinci Resolve. We are now going to plug this into the media out. So you can now see my background image. We are going to then add a merge node. The merge node is the way we can overlap things in DaVinci Resolve. So we copy into there. Now we take our Delta Kia, we plug it into this green knob there, and that overlaps ourselves into our background. We can then go into the merge node itself, go up into this inspector and adjust the angle to undo the landscapeification of ourselves. We can then move ourselves into position, adjust our size so that we are the way we want to be. There we go. We can then add some more elements. For example, this library desk, which we then can add as a foreground element. The quick way of adding a new merge node is to go like that and a new no merge node will pop out. And again, we can adjust the size and location of the desk. So it will fit sensibly in front of myself. There we go.
And we can then go and add other elements into according to our script and what we want to visually convey. Also, if we go back into the merge node, we can click on this button here to establish this as a keyframe. And then if we move forward a bit, we can move our selves across the screen and DaVinci Resolve will interpolate between those keyframes. And we can even do things like this and that. And back up again. And down. And up to get a sort of a silly text. But computers process data to get a very silly step-step-step uh, motion. After I've finished doing my editing and adding my adjustment layers, I go to the Fairlight tab and click on it, which brings me into our sound editing software. So the first thing I'll do is use Control A to select everything, right click and normalize all of the sounds, which basically adjusts all the audio levels so that they are consistent, not too loud and not too soft. If I was having any problems with background sounds, which we'll just check. Do you want to create scripted and edited VTuber content? Nope. If there was, I'd use this voice isolate feature, which uses an AI filter to isolate out my voice, but we don't need it in this case. We are going to add some effects here. Going to go channel, dialogue processor. That's normally okay. I take off the expander since it doesn't really help. That looks good. Well, this is a tutorial for you. First, I'm going to assume you... That sounds good. Next, I'll go into the EQ. Select that. I've got a special EQ here which fixes the audio of my room a little bit. So if we play that now. You've already written your script. If you haven't, do that first. That looks good. Okay, apply those changes and we are all ready to go. You have your video, you have edited it in the edit tab, you've used Fusion, you have composed it in the Fusion tab, and you've refined the sound in the Fairlight tab. Now, hit on Delivery, which is this rocket looking tab, and you use this to upload it to YouTube. Hit on YouTube, give it a file name, which I'm gonna call Tutorial and browse to actually where I can store it. You just cast an eye over this, you would give it a title. And in And there we go. Roll 
write a description in here. If you've got chapters, you would mark those chapters with the chapters from markers button. And you could use this to upload your thumbnail as well. Set it to the appropriate category. Add it to your render queue. And then when I hit this render all button, it will render the video and upload it to YouTube. And at that time, the only other thing you have to do is turn to your audience and say, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much. Goodbye.